Hello. I am Dr. Cosmo. Let's continue the lecture. Long ago, even before MJ had not embarked on his research, he realized something when he was watching the news. It seemed to be that in the news, there were heinous crimes occurring on a daily basis. Yet, there was not one person that he knew of in his surrounding that was involved in crime. He was also not involved in any cataclysmic disasters. He couldn't help but think to himself that it was as if he was living in a world on a completely different plane. Throughout history, he would hear stories of abhorrent brutalities. Yet, among the people around him, who could engage in such cruelty? How can one believe such stories to be true? MJ believed that there was no possibility that human beings can do such horrible things. In short, we were gravely mistaken. Throughout the progression of MJ's research, he was relying on his senses to be sensitive to things that were contrary to his trust in human beings. In the movie, Inception, when Dom was dropped into the bathtub, he encountered a huge flood in the other part of him who was on a different dimension. In this way, events inside of his dreams became exaggerated. MJ realized that the same kind of structure prevailed in reality. Let's recall the structure of reality. MJ divided reality into two parts. These were the world of direct senses and the world of indirect senses. The energy in the world of direct senses is like candy drops. However, in the world of the indirect senses, it's a world where the energy is like dispersed sugar grains. The shadows that are projected here are larger than the real size. When enlarged, it becomes a magnified cognition and because it is now given a different name, it seems to be an event comparable to an occurrence of the world of direct senses. In addition, such occurrences always seem more extreme than those in the world of direct senses. The direct senses and indirect senses correspond as follows. Direct senses. If one were to think, I hate that person. Indirect senses. Somewhere in the world, a brutal murder case occurred. Direct senses. I was about to starve to death. Indirect senses. Somewhere in the world massive people died of starvation. Direct senses. I was feeling that my surroundings are not safe. Indirect senses. Somewhere in the world, there is an outbreak of environmental destruction. Direct senses. I contemplated adultery. Indirect senses. A world famous star had a divorce due to adultery. Direct senses. I just want to be selfish. Indirect senses. Somewhere in the world, there is an egocentric dictator. When you have some thoughts with the direct sense, events occur with the indirect senses. The thought and its correspondent event are fractals. The following is the law of phenomena. 1. The same kind of thing repeatedly arises, or many of the same things are bred at the same time. 2. Extreme levels of events occur. Very severe, very wealthy, very brutal. 3. There is a great number of people, it feels like massive amounts of events surge. These are all just shadows that are projected from patterns, yet the shadows of small projections that surround the self are projected far away, and as such, it feels like the number of people multiplies and events are greatly exaggerated. Thus, brutal murders on the TV or in history were just illusion made of this cognition system. From here on we can predict the future. Let's say that in the world of your direct senses, there are three pieces of candy drops. The source of energy in our consciousness that projects these three is projected again to an even further distanced screen. Then, the three candy drops are broken down into tiny grains and are expanded. Because each of these pieces of grains is now perceived incorrectly as candy drops, in the distant world, it becomes a realm of 100 pieces of candy. The 100 pieces of candy in the distant world is just a fantasy. You are only imagining it. You may perceive it not as an exaggerated quantity, but as an exaggerated phenomenon. An exaggerated phenomenon can make you imagine your future. When a phenomenon is magnified, it stimulates your emotions and you are more likely to focus the thoughts. Thus, in your distant world, you are seeing what could possibly be your future. However, this doesn't mean that everything that you look at from a distance is a projection of your future. 
this world is aligned according to the amount of thought put into it. When the amount of thought is low, those are just projected far away in the world of indirect senses, and those that have many thoughts come to exist in the close world of direct senses. In fact, the amount of thoughts is shaped as a mountain with you at the center. The things that climb up the mountain approach you, so this becomes the future that will occur soon. Those that descend the mountain are parting away, so it becomes your past. Now, let's say that there is a cafe along the third station of the mountain path. It is unknown whether the person resting there has just descended the mountain or is just about to ascend. Then, how can you determine whether it is the past or the future? If you think of it simply, because thoughts create reality, if the thoughts increase from the third station to the tenth station, then this would become the future. Thoughts that increase equals things you want to think about. The things that you like, you will continuously think about so that becomes your future, and the things you dislike you will no longer think about, so it will become your past. The past and future are determined by this sense. History is a projection of the expanded formations of one's thoughts onto the screen of time flow and is given an enlarged interpretation. Likewise for space, the formations of one's thoughts are simply projected on the screen of space and given an enlarged interpretation. We are able to see the trajectory of our thoughts in space. MJ devised a method where anyone could discover the potential of their future and modify it if it were unfavorable to them. He calls this LDP life decoding procedure and is already offering this to certain people. If you understand this method, you will have a telescope to see your future. Now, there still remains the puzzle of MJ's discovery during his research on history of why there are fractals of land shapes, 